Toiler News Now, and containing chronic wasting disease, or CWD, is one of the top priorities of the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department and the Texas Animal Health Commission as well. As the night teams peel our areas reports, the state agencies just announced a plan in place for the upcoming hunting season. This flow chart right here is the breeder deer movement qualification standards, and it is a response to several cases of CWD found in captive white-tailed deer here in Medina County. And essentially, it is changing the way testing is done statewide. What does it look like? With billions of dollars at stake, people packed the first town hall-style chronic wasting disease meeting in Hondo. Breeder David Aaron says he needs all the updates he can get. We've been playing by the rules all along, and all of a sudden we're being, you know, threatened our livelihood. Texas Parks and Wildlife Department Wildlife Director Clayton Wolf says the agency has rules in place for the upcoming deer season from November through January. We have obligated to reassess things toward the end of the hunting season and see if we need to change the rules some to to accommodate our, our disease risk mitigation or, or industry desires. The state agency's old model had one testing level for breeders only. Now there are three classes for testing at ranches that receive deer. Better test results at breeding facilities equals less testing in the field. It's not going to infect any of the humans. It's not in the food chain. It can't hurt anybody. There's a lot, a lot of stuff out there a lot worse than us. So far, 164 samples have been submitted from euthanized deer. Of those, CWD was not detected in 115. Pilar Arias, KSAT 12 News.